Hello everyone, it's Brickmaster here, and today I have a very nice LEGO Atlantis set to review. This is the 8058 Guardian of the Deep from 2010. This set comes with 144 pieces, was rated for ages 7 to 14, and cost you $15 back when it was in stores. This is a nice set, of course it's a guardian, so it must be guarding something, so it's, it's one of those creatures that guards one of the keys, which can be placed in the portal of Atlantis, so you can unlock this um, other realm and to, this, to find the city of Atlantis, which is a, a set that, will, that comes out the next year in 2011. So overall, this is a very interesting set, so we'll look at the instructions to be the first part of the review. Alright, so here are the instructions that come in the set. They're pretty average size for a set of this piece count and size. It comes with a total of 46 pages, including the back, but a lot of it has advertisement for the Lego Club magazine to win a Lego set. Uh, of course, other Atlanta sets from that wave. I have all of them, except for this one right here, and I've reviewed all of these now, um, the ones that I have at least. Uh, that's, those are the minifigures that they each come with. Here it tells you to go to atlantis.lego.com. It has 3D glasses. I actually managed to get those 3D glasses, but I guess the site's down now, so you can't really use them. Or anything on, online. But here's a little scene of all of the first wave Atlantis sets, at least the ones that are not poly bags, um, in action there. It's a pretty nice scene. Again, I have all of the sets except the Neptune Carrier, which is the big one that comes with the Stingray, the big sub, and of course that little vehicle. Everything else on the screen I own and I have reviewed up until this point. And, um, oh, I forgot to mention, it does come with the box. It tells you what pieces you need for each step. But you really don't need it. It's a pretty simple set. You'll be, you'll have built it fairly quickly. So, yeah, let's look at the minifigure next. All right. So this is the minifigure that comes with the set. His name is Bobby Bowie. It's ever since I reviewed the last Atlanta set that I did, uh, the mini sub, uh, which was a poly bag, I realized that the minifigures actually had names. So this one's name is Bobby Bowie. Of course, he has a little harpoon gun. He has the little shark key right here. It's a pretty nice looking thing. It's transparent red. It has of course a shark's jaw on it. Very nice looking minifigure. I really like the printing on there. You can see a trident on one of the legs. Asymmetrical printing on the legs. Green flippers really nice. Uh, transparent neon green. Um, wind little um, uh, helmet windscreen piece. Uh, some dark gray oxygen tanks and if you lift off his helmet you can see he has a smiling face and here he has a very uh, scared face probably when he sees the shark for the first time but so yeah overall very nice minifigure Atlantis never disappoints all right so here is the guardian of the deep itself or the really big shark which is uh, probably what most people would call it so overall it's a really nice looking um, really nice looking build of course since it's not a sub it, pro it doesn't shoot things or anything like that, but overall, there it is quite poseable. Really nice look overall. You can, of course, you can move the uh, little fins here. Oh, I'm surprised this actually fell off. I think I ripped it too hard, but yeah, usually that doesn't happen. But yeah, you can move these a bit on the other side as well. You can move these up and down. Overall, pretty you know good uh, you know, posability with it. Of course, you can make it look like this, and you can move them up and down as well depending on how you want the shark to swim. The head can move side to side and also like this as well, so if it's you know, cocking its head a little bit. Um, there is a very large sticker here. That is a sticker, not a print. But overall, I think it's really important. I really like the Atlantis stickers overall. Uh, of course, it has a little key symbol here, so it's very interesting. Uh, I really like the, the stickers on there. All of the animals have some sort of strange symbol printing on there. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but overall it looks interesting. Uh, it has two red eyes, which use, uh, I think they're bionicle pieces. And here, of course, is a jaw, which has many teeth. They use these rubbery pieces to um, make the jaw you know, stay in place. Um, and it, of course, pulls back. Pretty nice overall look. And over here, of course, what you can grip your finger on is part of a hinge piece, so very interesting as well. Uh, of course, here are the dorsal fins, and here are some smaller fins here. 
Here's the big tail fin, which of course is what helps the, the shark steer in the, uh, in the ocean. Overall, very nice pieces here. I got a little fins or spikes, or I'm not sure if they're supposed to be fins or spikes, these ones here at the back, but this is a pretty intimidating looking shark. Of course, the, the fin goes pretty high up to there. It's pretty skinny. And of course you can make it move from side to side so yeah that's basically it for the set again it's a, it's a big figure so yeah just it's more of something to have that can pose and everything and you know, of course open the mouth so overall i think it's good so let me give my overall thoughts now all right so for my overall thoughts on the guardian of the deep i think it's a very good set if you're an atlantis fan you're gonna love it if you're not an atlantis fan i guess you should could still get it um yeah, I think if you're into underwater stuff, Atlantis Aquazone, this is a must-have. Definitely get it. So it, it looks really good with the other Atlantis sets, especially the other animals, like the, um, the squid from the Gateway of the Squid, or the monster crab, or the um, or the anglerfish, which comes out the next year, which I do have and will plan to review. Once I get it all together, there's a building process. Maybe I'll do a um, organization and a rebuilding video on Atlantis. Uh, there's still some that need to be finished uh, when it comes to building before I can review them. Uh, so this one, very good set. I recommend it. Spend up to 20 bucks on it. Nothing more, 25 but maybe. But yeah, Atlantis isn't going up in price too much. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.